Hello everyone and welcome to a quick special video where I'm going to cover the progress I made on Fun Ors today. I've literally spent uh, two thirds of the day working on it, so a lot's been done. Before that though, let's uh, take a look over here. <laughs> so I, I think this is shaders. Um, when I when I logged into this world, I had shaders enabled. I I added Optifine. And I was throwing in some shaders, and I was playing around with them, and I switched to internal for the video. And I, I think that's <laughs> what has happened here, but that is kind of hilarious. Alright, fun ores. I, I know I said recently, uh, I think I said it in the last Mod of the Week episode, I was making the alloy smelter, and this is it. Uh, finally decided on a texture after I chose a recipe for it. And let me tell you, there has been a lot of work done, and quite a few things added to the mod. So let's take a look at the block at first. So yeah, this is something I've shown before. And it'd be kind of nice if this had, like, some automated output or something. Am I, no, I'm not in cheat mode. I don't know. Let me just uh, do some very, very simple automation. Actually, I haven't tested if you can extract things from a hopper or with a hopper. But I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. I mean, it's like the same code as the metal furnace, except for one or two little things on the block side. The tile entity, of course, is very different. So, yeah, I've shown this thing working already, so that's nothing new. Uh, one thing that is new, look at this. If we hover over the arrow, it says show recipes. What does that do? Click on it. J.I. Handler. <laughs> so you could view all the recipes and just enough items, and uh, I believe last I checked it was correctly working. Yes, it's displaying all the recipes correctly, and if there are ingots uh, in the ore dictionary, for example, if you have different kinds of silver, it would show the different kinds of silver here. Uh, currently, I don't have any other kinds of ingots, so it's only showing one of each, but it is working. So that's good. Okay, something else, which, uh, th this is just kind of for my own amusement. It burns. It's hot if you stand on it while it's running. Uh, of course, if it's not running, it's cool and it won't hurt you. But the furnace, of course, will do the, the same thing. So if I give myself a little bit of fuel. Give you one coal, and of course now it'll hurt me if I stand on it. It's a quarter heart of damage, so it's not that bad. Wow, I recover my health very quickly. That that seems a little bit odd. Oh, uh, I think this world, yeah, this world's unpeaceful. Right, I forgot we have world-specific difficulties, or do we? Yeah, we do. Alright, oh, this, uh, this, I might see a bug here. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bug. It, not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> it just ignored the single copper here. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it's kind of nice how this thing, even if it does some kind of stupid stuff, it works for the most part. Occasionally, I've noticed that both the metal furnace and the alloy smelter will just kind of lock up. In this case, it's because it doesn't have room for the nuggets, but... Uh, yeah, now it's not, not resuming. If I take out the ingots, it'll start working. So that's another bug I need to look into. Kind of a minor one. I mean, if you're auto-extracting, you will probably never see that bug. But I would like to fix it, nonetheless. Okay, recipes for the alloy smelter. This is where we're getting into some of the other new stuff. So, uh, I, I can't just press 3 on the numpad like you could with any eye. Have to actually look it up. That that's not right. There we go. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got iron plates and aluminum plates, and the way these are crafted is kind of similar to industrial craft too. It's a uh, good job. Just enough items. 
It's a hammer and two ingots, but even though the recipe looks just like IC2, the intention is pretty difficult. With IC2, it's more like... We're going to make you waste more materials early game. This is this is not really intended to be that way. It's intended to pack more items into a recipe. So there there won't be like some machine later on that will make one plate from one ingot or anything like that. That this is exactly what you get. And the hammer is made out of aluminum and wood currently. That may or may not change. I don't know. Actually, why, do, why does the hammer only show one recipe? Oh. Okay, I've only got my aluminum ingots or dictionary under one aluminum entry. I may want to fix that. There's two different aluminum entries. One without the I before the U and one with it. Okay, so the metal furnace recipe has also changed. It's cheaper now, technically. Really? So instead of having two blocks in the corners and three ingots, it's six plates and you need one less brick block as well. And it does require a stone furnace in the center. A little bit weird, I guess, but uh, that's okay. So you can use bronze plates or brass plates. So that's 12 ingots per furnace and I did it again. That's hard to get used to. And again, all the plates are made exactly like this. It, <laughs> how many times can I do that? A lot, apparently. So yeah, there, there's a plate for everything. Even even like the new alloys, there's iron and gold. But that's not all. I've also got something else I've added but haven't done anything with. Gears. So these are, again, in the ore dictionary, just like plates, so other mods can use them. Actually, I don't know if I said that the plates were in the ore dictionary, but they are. And gears are as well, so if there's a mod that wants to use these gears, they can do that. I, I kind of doubt any other mod will rely on fun ores in any way, but um, that that is an option, apparently. Okay, and I believe last time I did mention that uh, I'm adding Invar, so we can use that with the Hammers mod. Is there an Enderium Hammer? No, there's not an Enderium Hammer. Unless I've done something wrong. But Again, I did it. I don't think I did. I'm going to make an Electrum Hammer, though. Okay, yeah, now this thing's got two different copper stacks. that have just kind of been left laying around. I'm sure I can fix that. Hmm. You know, I'm not really happy with the textures for most of the plates. Most of them are rather pale looking. It's so hard to tell when making the textures. They always look more vibrant, I guess, because it's a white background. And then once you actually load them up into a world, they look very pale. And yeah. I don't know. May need a bit of tweaking. Or they may just be fine as they are. So I suppose that's all I have to say here. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know when exactly I'll have this next version of Fun Ores out. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a live stream. Um... Tomorrow for me, today for you. So I may release this video in the morning and do a live stream in the afternoon. I'm not sure. So I guess this version of Fun Ores, assuming there are no major issues, will probably be released in the next couple of days. Probably by the end of the week, I'll say. So thanks for watching. And I'll... See you guys later today if you catch the stream or in the next video, which will probably be Saturday's Mod of the Week.